Hi everyone and welcome back to my video. This is Mark Day Vlog. And for today's video, we are going to review, unbox, and set up this smart camera or shall we say the V380 Pro smart camera. This is connected via your Wi-Fi. You can connect it to your phone to set up things and view what's on your camera. So let's start the unboxing and some setups about this camera. So let's go. There you go, that's a smart camera. So in the box you have here your surveillance camera instruction manual. This You must read the instructions because this is very helpful in setting up the camera well. This, this is meant for concrete walls. So if you have a drill with you, you can use this to mount your cameras. So you have here an Edison 27 or, or E27, then here you go. So it looks like a light bulb, it's not. So if you can see that there are multiple LEDs, so um, this, 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 and this. So this is infrared, this is used for night vision. And the other four is for um, its own LED lights. And I think you have an IR, fast, no, an IR for remote, but this doesn't come with the remote, so I'll be using a phone instead. Unless if your phone has an IR blaster or infrared blaster for remote control. Yep, there's the camera. There is a tiny little hole for a microphone. At the bottom part, you have here your reset switch and your micro SD. It really depends on the sizes for recording. With 32, you can get 7 days, 64, um, half a month. And for 128 gigs, you get a recording of your CCTV out to 30 days. There you go, there's the speaker. Honestly, the speaker is inaudible, it means, uh, which means you cannot properly hear what the um, instructions would say. So you really need to be in a quiet room or anything where there's no disturbance that so you can hear what this camera is telling you to do. This is the camera and we're going to set this one up. Now before that, I also want to mention and setting up with the camera now. To set up this camera, you need to download the V380 Pro application via iOS or Android devices. It, there's also a V380 on Windows. So once you have downloaded that, when you do the setup, you need to connect your phone and camera first, not through the Wi-Fi. Once your phone is connected and has been set up with the camera, it will tell you to select a Wi-Fi network or your home Wi-Fi. And, th and after that, your camera is now connected to your Wi-Fi. And you can also control the camera using your phone. Okay, so when inserting the micro SD into your CCTV, it should be upside down. Insert. Just be careful. Push. You'll hear, you're, you will hear a click. And that's it. I won't be able to demonstrate to you in how to set this one up since we already have lots of... Um, Edison 27 so light bulb sockets so I will be putting this one back in the box but if you don't have a spare um, bulb socket with you you can use this to mount this directly to either through a wall a ceiling now let's set this up outside and I'll also demonstrate to you how it works Now this is the V380 Pro camera. So what we're going to do is control the app directly. So let's go with the camera. There you go. As you can see. So there was a limit to how much the camera can turn to the other side. So I'll have to rotate this one. So the, there's me. If there is a movement detected, the lights will automatically turn on. And from black and white, night vision to colored. And when there's no movement at all, this will automatically turn back to night vision. The light is not that bright enough, but it should be able to give light to the area surrounding around it where the camera can focus and see its surroundings. So as you can see right now, since I'm maintaining some movement to keep the light on, the light is not that bright. As you can see, it's enough to light up a small area. 
but it's also enough for the camera to turn it in from black and white to color and you can see things through. Then if you look down here below, there's a snapshot. This is to take a picture. If you tap on record, this will record a video, a short video. And once you retap that, that will save the recording into your phone and same with the CCTV as well. Speak, this is where you can actually speak to someone. So for example, like, hello, 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 hi. So currently we're here in the cloud service, but you can check via micro SD card. And then there's a timeline date. There's no recording at the moment. For inversion, this is to, if you're mounting the camera upside down or up, upwards then you can use this to um, invert the video but I'll be going this direction with auto if there is motion detected it will automatically turn on and if without any motion detected it will automatically turn off but you can manually turn this one on steady or turn this one off if you don't want any lights but I'll set this one into auto so I thought this would be an extremely wide angle cam camera, but I will have to do more with the set, fiddle with the settings to make sure that this is in its most optimal positions, especially with the view around. And that's it. Okay, one thing to note here is that okay, I have found some other here settings here, that... like um, the, it, because it, since it can record audio, um, there is a volume, uh, no, the speaker button here speaker uses button to here. play some sound into your phone, I'll be canceling that because it's starting to make some echoes, and then there is an SD or standard definition video, if you zoom in, it looks pe uh, pex. It looks pixelated, but if you use, uh, if you tap on it and change into high definition, then you can record at a higher definition, much more clear rate. I have set up the motion tracking, so this is how it looks like. If I move from here, move from here, so the camera will detect any motions. I also have a set of, uh, this is to receive the guard position, but that is the default. So if no one's around, then it will go back to its original position to where I have placed it. So that was my video about the V380 Pro smart camera. If you have any thoughts or comments about this video, please do subscribe, comment down below. And also I'll be sharing my social media links and also a link to this camera so you can get this one at the cheaper cost and it could also help my channel out. So thank you so much everyone and you all have the best days. Bye now.